Chinese taste labs today, Ikea beer. So I was at Ikea and I saw beer. So I ended up getting it and I'm gonna try it right here. <laughs> that rhymed. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the uh, lager. I like Ikea food, so I have high hopes. Ikea Swedish beer here in China. That's not bad. Crisp, a little hoppy, good malt, good effervescence. You know, I would definitely enjoy this pretty much anywhere. Surprising that it came from Ikea. So that was fairly heavy for, uh, for a lager. Uh, a lot of taste, surprising, you wouldn't think so, coming from Ikea. Um, unlike their furniture, their beer holds together. So now I'm gonna try their dark lager beer. Smells the same. It tastes almost identical to the regular lager, except it has a small bit more hop. Barely noticeable. It's more of a, you don't taste it, but that kind of aftertaste when you swallow it and then that has more of a tanginess and a hoppiness in the dark lager than the regular lager. So besides the aftertaste, I'd say they're pretty much the same. But overall, it's pretty good if you're into darker beers. So I'm surprised to say that Ikea, your beer is pretty good. Keep it up. The other stuff too is pretty good, especially your salty fish. It's delicious. Try their salty fish if you go to Ikea. Be sure to subscribe for more weird Chinese and I guess Swedish Ikea foods in the future.